Hi guys, I'm Katie Wayne and this is Animalist News. What's the first thing you think of when you hear the Wild West? Probably cowboys herding cattle on their trusty steeds or maybe the Will Smith movie in 1999 about the wild, wild, that was not a good movie. Anywho, Wyoming is known for its population of horses, but there can be sometimes too much of a good thing. For locals, wild horses have become pests who overwhelm deserts and compete with cattle for grass. Up until 1971, ranchers and the government controlled their population by shooting them or sending them to slaughterhouses. However, when Congress passed a law protecting wild horses, Wyoming had to get creative. At first, the state tried shipping some of the horses to permanent farms where they could either get adopted or live the rest of their lives, but this angered horse advocates. Plus, the remaining horses would still breed and the problem would start all over again. Today, the government has over 50,000 wild horses in captivity, which costs $46 million a year. However, ranchers still want more horses removed from Wyoming. Recently, the Bureau of Land Management has begun using an innovative strategy for controlling horse populations. A vaccine made of pig ovaries is being shot into horses to prevent them from reproducing. While the number of newborn horses has decreased from nearly 50 in 2009 to just 16 in 2013, some people worry that herds are becoming so afraid of humans that they won't be able to vaccinate them every year. Do you guys think that the government should control horse populations? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also be sure to check out these other videos right here and subscribe right here. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.